Welcome to Bodega Bay. Um, my name is Orth Hedrick, Vice President of Product Planning. I uh, just wanted to spend a few minutes to talk a little bit more about the forte that everybody drove up here from this morning's session. Uh, this is the significantly revised 2017 Forte sedan. It's one of three different body styles that we sell with a Forte brand. We also sell a five-door model and also a coupe, so there's three models in all. Um, the vehicle range includes, in addition to the, uh, into the, in addition to the EX I'm standing in front of, uh, we also have three total grades. There's an LX, the S, which are the other models that we, we're driving today, and, and the other one that we have here is the EX. Uh, in addition, on the five door and the coupe, there's a fourth model called SX, and that has a 1.6 liter turbocharged DCT transmission vehicle. So it's quite nice. That's our sporty model. It's not available in the sedan, but it is in the coupe and also the five door. Uh, this vehicle is uh, from our brand new plant in uh, Mexico. It's just outside of Monterey and, and Pescaria. Uh, it's a $3 billion investment between Kia and all of our supplier bases. So it is, it's a huge investment. Uh, in all, it eventually will produce about 300,000 cars per year. So it's a significant, significant in increase in our capability to meet the, the, the demand for also Mexico market but also Central America and South America. This is the first vehicle to come from that plant and it's destined for the U.S. market. Uh, the significant changes from the previous model include design, which you can see here. It's a completely new front. Uh, it looks very similar to our award-winning Optima, which is our midsize sedan. Uh, it looks quite nice. In addition to that, you can see some of the detail here. This is a uh, bi-xenon headlight. It's also dynamic bending, which means on certain models at the top, as you turn around a corner, the lights follow with you. So if you're on a two-lane road, it'll illuminate ahead of you. So it's quite nice. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're using two new two-liter engines in this vehicle. Uh, the first one is a two-liter with multi-point injection. This uses technology we refer to as Atkinson technology. It's basically to improve fuel economy. Uh, the mileage from the outgoing 1.8 liter, even though the displacement is up, the horsepower stays flat using the Atkinson technology and the overall performance was quite nice as you probably felt on the way up here today. Uh, in addition to that, all of these vehicles are equipped with either a six-speed manual uh, and also the vehicles we drove today is an, a new six-speed automatic which has also been significantly revised for better fuel economy but also smoother operation. So that's the design and the powertrain. Uh, a couple of the points on the vehicle, we, there's been a significant upgrade in the chassis to improve the safety standards. Uh, we are targeting top safety pick plus standard on this. Uh, the big change on this one is we made significant revisions for small offset collision. And this is uh, a new government standard that they just in, in, introduced in addition to uh, full frontal where the impact point is basically only the front third of the vehicle and it's designed to simulate if someone veers off the road and strikes a pole or if you have two cars coming at each other and they, they hit on each other's corner. It's, it's quite a severe test because it concentrates all of that energy that normally would be across the whole front of the car just to the front corner. Uh, so it means there's a, been a significant improvement in the structure underneath here. Uh, we're targeting to have good ratings on this. Uh, in addition to that, we've also added some other new active safety, safety technology, autonomous emergency braking, which means as you're approaching something, the brakes come on automatically and instantly if you don't hit the brakes fast enough. Uh, this is a new feature for the Kia uh, Forte. It's the first time we've seen it on a Kia. It's called lane keeping assist. Uh, and this is using uh, a camera that's mounted here in the, in the rear view mirror. And if it watches the lanes in front of you, if, if you veer outside of those lanes, it'll give you a warning to tell you to get back in line. You probably felt some of that today. Uh, so there's quite a bit of technology. Also forward collision warning, if you're approaching somebody quickly, uh, it'll sound, sound an, alert, uh, an alert. And if you don't hit the brakes fast enough, it'll do it for you automatically. So quite a bit of technology for safety. Um, also in addition to that, uh, we've added uh, new technology for our infotainment system. This we refer to as UVO3. It replaces the outgoing system, which was UVO2. Uh, it's a new platform. So for us, it means that we're able to now introduce Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you'll be able to hook up your phone to it. Uh, using the maps that are native to your phone will automatically display 
on the eight inch screen in front of you. So in addition, it has voice recognition using either Siri or Android, uh, the Android Google Now. Uh, so you'll be able just to speak to the, your phone. You could use the button on the steering wheel. Uh, it's hooked up to your phone and just speak to it naturally and it'll, it'll program your destination and show it to you on the map. So it's really, really neat technology. Um, in addition to that, we've added a new model. Uh, in addition to the LX and EX we had before, a new model this year is the S model. It's using an LX grade, so it has a sportier look. Alloy wheels are standard. Uh, we put a sportier interior on it and we also put a, a spoiler out in the back. So it looks quite nice. And we've got a few of them behind us here today. So if you want to take a look at those. Um, and that's uh, the, the new Forte. Um, and I think also uh, the starting at price uh, is $16,340. Uh, and that range goes all the way. That's the, the base model with a manual transmission. It, roughly, uh, it's about a $400 improvement in value given all the safety technology, the fuel economy benefits. And uh, for a general price point, it's a great starting at price. Our five door, we're introducing a new LX model, which will be the lowest price five door uh, in the compact segment uh, with the new Forte.